Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome back to Cash Talks Football, where we break down all the goals scored in the Premier League, and I use my over 20-plus years of coaching experience to give you a different insight that some of these other Muppets say on TV and on YouTube have no clue about. Hopefully, I can teach you something that you can take away to become a better coach or a better player. Now, normally, I'm slating defending because it's awful in the Premier League. I'm going to show you two examples today of something that's actually good and positive to show that they actually know kind of what they're uh, you know, doing. Normally, it's just awful, but... We're going to do a little bit of Liverpool and then a little bit of Ipswich, uh, but then we're going to get break down the goals and show you something what an Ipswich player does, which happens quite a lot in the Premier League, where they completely forget that the ball is the important thing. It's one of the things we used to talk about when uh, you overcoach players and they do what you expect, of what I mean, a, a passing progression or a, they're taking the one touch and then you can see where the ball is going to move. So they anticipate it because they think that's what you're going to do because that's what they've been coached. And then the player just puts their foot on the ball and makes you look stupid because you're running in a direction that they've got no intention of. And it's a little thing that Trent Alexander-Arnold does to one of the Ipswich players. So we're going to cover that as well. But right now, we're going to show you this breakaway from Ipswich as they're running down on towards Liverpool's goal. They get a poor shot away, but I want to show you the defending because this is quality textbook, and I never really get to say that uh, ever in any Premier League game. So right now, you can see this guy, he's... he's on his little uh, bike, he's running down this way, and you're looking, this guy's the closest to the ball, and he's not the person that's supposed to be closing the ball. He is. You go, oh, but Cash, it doesn't make sense. I know, because you don't know what you're talking about with coaching. What he's trying to do as a player is close the gap here. That's where he's going. He can't get there. He's supposed to cross over. Do they get it right? Normally what would happen is he would come over here to pressure the ball because, well, he thinks that's his job, and he would come over. Both players would come over here, end up getting in each other's way. This guy would go around them and just knock it into the corner of the box. Uh, sorry, into the net box. That isn't what happens. Quality defending. This guy comes across. As you can see, it starts to happen. He starts to come across here perfectly. They do a little crisscross pattern, and he runs behind into cover. Watch this. As he goes, bump, and he goes to cover the space behind, knowing that the space is dangerous because his mate's got the ball. 99 times out of 100 in the Premier League, both players go to the ball and mess it up, and this player gets to beat him. Now, he knows his job is to defend and win the ball because his teammate's not in the way. His teammate's not trying to do the same thing. Remember, there's only one football, so you only need one player to go and win it. The other player can cover the space, and if your mate gets beaten, he can now pressure, and he can try and win the ball. If you both try to do it, you make all sorts of mistakes, and that's not what happens here. This guy's now got to beat him. He doesn't. He cuts it inside, goes on a little bit of a dosh, and then tries to get his shot away. But look, now we've got the second player ready to come in and pressure the ball. He doesn't. He backs off just a bit, but he's there ready to pressure the ball. And why he's there is because he saw that run and he's there cutting out the pass. One of his teammates came back. And you're quite frankly, if you're over here and you've got um, a goalkeeper like Allison or Edison in goal or Martinez, I think that's the, the, guy, the other guy I like. You're saying, yeah, shoot outside the 18-yard box, mate. You're not beating my keeper from there. And that's what he does. He gets his shot away. But now let's show you some of the good things that Ipswich were doing defensively. Right here, they are nice, tight, and compact. Look at the spacing between these players here. It's perfect. One, two, three, four. Absolutely perfect here. That means there's no little gaps for them to thread the ball through. They can have the ball. Can you see this line here? They can have the ball here. And you've got one person there waiting for someone to make a mistake. Even though they've bypassed these four here, these five, six players are doing their job absolutely perfectly. When the ball goes into this wee chap, there's immediate pressure on him. He has to, oh, well, I can't really go forward anymore. There's no, uh, the ball in behind is not an option. I have to try to do something different. He actually gets tackled and the ball moves on to the next Liverpool player. But guess what happens? Ipswich has got pressure on the ball. Immediately, they have to move it again. But the pressure is perfect. And there's no little gaps. Look, can you see? The spacing here is absolutely perfect. Well done. I think this was, uh, I'm not sure actually for Liverpool to, uh, anymore, to be honest. He knocks the ball onto one more because he's under so much pressure. And as soon as the ball goes out wide here, what happens? Bump, pressure on the ball immediately, has to go out wide. Pressure on the ball immediately again. And Liverpool end up taking a shot from outside the box because Ipswich are solid on their uh, back four defensive line. Their spacing is proper. More importantly, though, they are going to the ball at the right times. They're pressuring correctly. They're just getting it right. That's solid. That's going to be pretty hard to break down if they stick at this for the season. Going through, if, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm normally right when I say this. 
They won't be doing this at Christmas. And the only reason why is because as the season progresses, all of these hard things to do get harder and harder as the season goes on. Um, if they keep up like this, they'll do fantastic. This is that little clip I was uh, talking to you about where players on the field just follow what they have taught in their brain and they know, okay, look at Trent's body shape. Right, look at where he is. He's going to be passing the ball down the line here. So this player just automatically assumes that, doesn't get tight, doesn't pressure the ball, and doesn't try to win, uh, win it. Oh, by the way, when I say Ipswich are going to do great, I mean they're not going to lose 5 0 every game. They're going to, you know, they're in with a chance of staying up in the Premier League. That's what I really mean by doing great. Doing great for a championship side coming up into the Prem. But watch what Trent does right here. Just puts his foot on the ball. Oh, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just goes the other way. Makes him look like a Muppet. Because he goes down to close the pass, which he doesn't need to do. What he needs to do is do the basics, which is get goal side. Then you can try to close that passing angle down. He doesn't go goal side. Trent just puts his foot on the ball and just goes off past him. Simple as that. With these acres of space here, though, looks what Trent does. He just puts his head up and fires a warning shot. And lets Ipswich know this is what's going to happen. Fires this ball across, bosh, and in it goes. Misses the, you know, just, just inches by the post. But it's a warning shot telling them what's going to happen. Okay, this is naive defending here from um, Ipswich. You do not get this close to Mo Salah on the halfway line. Because all he wants to do is knock the ball back, turn, and spin in behind you. You don't even care if Mo Salah's got the ball here. You want to be back here. Because if he can turn and run at you, okay, at least you can back up. But if you want a straight foot race... Even at the age of Mo Salah, is, he's going to beat you. And now if he's got the ball in front of him, instead of... So if you have it my way, there'd be Salah, there'd be you. The ball would be here, and you'd be coming like this. At least you've got a chance of stopping him. In this situation, it's going to be a slightly different where it'll be you, Salah, and the ball over here. Hmm, that looks interesting. Um, and, but that's what happens here. He just, someone's played it up, he's going to knock it back, and they're going to play the ball through the old up, back, and through. And that's what I'm talking about. Naive defending. If you listen to my channel before, someone's raising their hand. You know what's about to happen in the next five seconds. Someone is going to score a goal in the Premier League. Simple splitting ball there because the defenders completely got caught out by Mo Salah. Simple pass across and Jota's going to slot it in the box because that's what he does. And if you look at that good tight shape where everyone was pressing and someone was there to press to the next ball and the next ball, because all hiccups, they're getting caught in the transition so fast... No one's close enough to Jota at all. So this little through ball here is so simple for Mo Salah to play it across. And Jota just gets to slot it into the top of the net box. Bosh. In it goes. 1-0 to, uh, I was going to say, to United. But it's not as Liverpool. United was yesterday. This is a trademark ball from Liverpool. Goes back to Virgil van Dijk. He hits a 65-yard ball over to Mo Salah. He's running in behind. And the defender's just too far away from him. Now, again, you've got to give Ipswich some credit here. Because what they do really well, I want to show you, they double up on Mo Salah pretty quickly. Here he is, the defender's holding him up. And you can see the cavalry's coming. But, just like I showed you in the first um, on the first clip, where you don't want to get too close. Because both defenders then can be taken out really, really quickly. You just need to be in a position where you can cover the guy pressuring the ball. So immediately if he gets beat... You can try to do something, or you can block the pass. If you get too close, the same pass or the same little move will beat both of you. And that's exactly what happens here. Let's just watch this move forward a little bit. As he goes, bump, bump, bump. As he goes, look, he's, too, he's coming too fast, too hot. And Mo Salah ends up knocking it to the uh, top of the box here. I think it's for Sabozlai um, to just put in a pass. Here we go. The, the two Ipswich players, after the ball's move, look, Salah's on his toes. And he's not paying enough attention. And this little ball goes through. I think the keeper saves it. And Salah ends up dinking it uh, through his legs or something. Not quite sure. There goes the ball. And Salah gets himself the first goal of the season. Other than that, I think Ipswich has got a good chance to stay up in the Premier League. Liverpool, I think their ambitions is to stay top four. I will probably repeat that a hundred times this season. Anyone after is coming in after Jurgen Klopp has got a lot to prove and a lot to do. But other than that, I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football.